Hello, it's Steph from Buzzy. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can generate your app brief with the Buzzy AI plugin in Figma. This is the first step of the app creation process with the Buzzy AI Assistant. So if you're creating a brand new app from scratch, this should be the first thing you would do. Um, so in the Buzzy plugin, you want to go to the brief tab. Um, so you have two options here. You could one, create a brief manually. So that means you would manually input your app name, description, um, functions, and user roles. Or second option, you can also use the AI assistant to help you do it. So today we're going to use the AI assistant. Um, so what you want to do is open the chat panel by clicking on this blue button that says use Buzzy AI, or you can also click on the little robot icon to open the chat panel. So if it's a brand new app, the chat history should be empty, so it would look something like this. But you can also clear the chat by clicking over here. Now, what's an app brief? So an app brief is a high-level text description of your app. It will include an app name, um, a basic description of the app, what the app is about, the app functions. So you can see the app functions as the features of your app or the actions that your users would be um, expected to take in your app. And then the app brief also has the user roles. Um, so in this context, the app brief will uh, describe the app more in a technical way rather than a business way. So we really want the prompts that we're going to um, send to the AI assistant to be able to reflect that. Um, let's have a go at building a prompt. So here in this example, I'll try to create a um, event planning app. So first thing, what is the app about? I want to um, create an app that allows people to plan events together. Um, you don't need to go into too much details in terms of the objective, the vision, or the KPIs that we have here. Again, this is more to give a technical description of app, what the app will be. Um, all right. Then in your prompt, you will also want to give a bit more information in terms of the app features. So what actions would the user take in the app? Um, a user would be able to create their own events, um, invite other users, and also make comments under each event. Another thing that can be really good to mention in your prompt is data relationships. So without going into too much technical details, you could say something like, um, multiple users could register for each event. Um, an event could have many comments associated with it. So having that kind of um, phrases in your prompt is especially important for apps that have um, more complex data relationships, like a lot of uh, many-to-many -many relationships or one-to-many relationships. All right. I think that looks good for now. Let's try and submit this prompt. What is really important during this brief step is to make sure that you communicate clearly what your intent is. Um, so my advice is to aim at using simple words, like you would explain it to someone who doesn't know much about apps. Um, another thing is uh, we found that longer prompts don't necessarily mean better briefs. So you should be able to explain your app concept in a few sentences only. Once your brief is generated, you will see it appear on the right panel over here. And you will also get a notification in the chat panel as well. Um, from here, you can have a read, you know, make sure everything makes sense in the context of your app. If you want to add or change anything, you can do so. There are two ways to do it. So you can do it manually. So all you have to do is click on this button here that says edit brief manually. And that will allow you to go into the brief and edit a specific section. You can also have the AI assistant to help you. Um, all you need to do is submit another prompt from the chat panel. For example, um, let's say I don't like the app name. I want it to be a different one. So I can type change the app name to Bookify and then submit. And so the AI assistant will update the app brief for me. And here we go, we have a new app name. One last tip for me on this brief creation step. In the brief tab at the very bottom, you'll see that there is, there is a section with um, template suggestions. 
So those are example apps that are built on Buzzy and that we've uh, made available on the community page in Figma. And the AI assistant is suggesting you to have a look at those because they um, have features that are very close to what you're trying to achieve with your app that you're just starting to create. So I would say definitely take the time to have a look at those as well. So once you're happy with the brief, you can move on to the next step, which is the data model. And I will cover that in another video. Thanks for watching.